Can you imagine being a racehorse and every time, every time he's nervous, he's taught go, run, get straight, get stiff, go. A thoroughbred that's uh, off the track and he is, doesn't race anymore, but he did quite well. He was, he was successful, won some money, and, but he's quite nervous with people. And so my job is to, to get him to relax and get confident with us, and hopefully that'll carry over and help his owner as well. Rather than starting off in, in aisle way, like he probably did on the track, I'm starting off in here and I decided I just let him come in and sort of get acclimated, look at the surroundings, check everything out. Remember horses have all the time in the world. We're the ones that are usually in a hurry. All right, so right now you can see Creek is pretty interested in me and he's really looking at me. As he looks away, I might just approach, but look how little it takes for him to come back to me and draw back around. Watch his ears. Can you see where his ears are pointing? Can you see he's looking straight from his point straight on and he's dipping his head up and down to focus his, his vision. And so you'll see horses raise and lower their head, not just to relax, but because they're focusing vision and they're trying to see. Now he's, he's pretty relaxed. He's interested in rolling. And at times he's interested in me. I still stepped away because he is, he is coming towards me. And that is what I would like him to do. So he's a little undecided here if he should go down and roll or if he should come to me. Oh, that looks pretty good. Can you imagine being a racehorse and every time, every time he's nervous, he's taught go, run, get straight, get stiff, go, push, go forward. Well, I don't want that. What I need him to do is look at me and draw around. And if I can get that, I've got his mind. Look at his expression. So you can see that head going up and down here. I might approach. He took note that I was coming, so I stop. So you have to be willing to take your time. And this is something that a lot of horses haven't had when they were brought along is, is time. I'll approach. So every time he looks away or I feel that his tension drifts off, I'll, I'll step in just slightly. You can see smelling here. His nostrils are kind of flaring and he's just, it's breezy and he's catching smells. This is looking pretty good. If I step to his rear, the effect that you might have is drawing. So if I have his eyes and his attention and I step to the rear, he'll, he'll draw. I'm sort of drawing his attention around. Now, if he gets nervous, he's gonna move off, which in the round pen's okay, that is an option. So that looked really nice right there. Now really, I brought him in and I just let him get settled in, I let him get acclimated. And notice I didn't start off sending him. This is looking really nice. He's really relaxed. Good, so as I step around, he's he's staying with me. So that's that's really nice. Now. The other byproduct that we're going to have to stepping to the rear and drawing him around is you're gonna notice that he bends in his body. I brought him back there. But you'll notice that he bends in his body. If I keep stepping around, what'll happen is he'll start to cross the hind legs. Now he brought his front legs forward as well, but you'll notice that the hind end steps across and then as that happens I'll just back off. Now I notice licking and chewing. I can still see him behind me. I'm just trying to make this really easy for him and pleasant. So let that curiosity take over. The fact that his head is so low is is outstanding. There and then I just slowly started to bring my front side around towards him and he understood stop. It's no different than if you were talking to somebody and you turn towards them, let your arms down and relax, they realize that you're taking a break. And then if I were to say, let's go take a look at the, at the barn, if I turned and got tall, that person, you would come with me. You'd understand. It's, it's really the same thing with horses. 
we just have to become aware of what we're doing with our bodies. So this is nice. So he's starting to draw around. Let's try his left side. Yeah, it's looking pretty nice. And you can see when I turn towards him, he stops. It's excellent. It's very good. Now, you might feel like you here's your time to put your halter on or here's your time to hurry up and get a bridle on him. But just remember that this is what this horse has needed his whole life. And he probably didn't get this on the track. He probably didn't get time. Slow. It's really very nice. Turn towards him. Good. A little licking and chewing. This looks good. His head came down. Now, it's excellent. See how I brought my frontal plane or my chest or my headlight off to my left and he looked. Let's go a little further. So I'll say look over here. That's, that's a good try right there. I'll step back, step away. I'll bring myself back to the center of the round pen because I know that I'll want to send him off here in just a minute. Yeah, look at that. And he knows that my attention's over here, so he's thinking about that. But so much of the time, what I'll notice people, they don't bring themselves back to the center or the bullseye of the round pen. In fact, I'll notice that people will sometimes be off to the side, sort of closing off a gap closing off this space and, I'll, and they'll ask their horse to go and the horse gets stuck, gets trapped and goes the wrong way. If the person, if we orientate ourselves to the center so that we're in the bullseye, I'm just gonna give them a minute here, good. So that we're in the bullseye. When I ask him to, to send off, he'll have a nice space and a big open place to go through. So that's a really big tip right there. I'm going to drive him forward just a little bit, just enough to where I notice a little change in his feet and gait, and I notice that maybe I draw his attention to me. So I step in, I drive, and I'm sending him. But then once I get that ear, I'll, draw, I'll come back and see if we can draw him around. Oh, he found the mounting block. That's handy. I happen to have a mounting block in here. Interesting. So let's let him stop there and, and, and take a look at that. That's a happy place. That's a good spot to be. So I'm just giving him time here because he's really exploring this. Good. Pretty soon he's either going to get curious and, and tip it over or he'll look elsewhere. And so then we could go back to work. But the important thing is, is to understand that, that when I step out of the center or the, the middle, the bullseye, that's going to mean change something. We'll talk about that a little bit more. So now I've orientated myself back to the middle. I'm going to think about sending him off left circle. See if I can do very little. I'm in the center. When I'm in the bullseye or the middle, this means maintain to the horse. Stay, stay with it. Keep doing what you're doing. You're doing great. If I step out of the middle, it has a few meanings. It could mean go forward, drive forward, maybe a little bit more. And then when I'm happy, I'll come back to the center. I could step out of the middle if I wanted to block him and then change direction. He's being a good good guy here. Take my time. So we'll just I'm still giving him a nice open spot to come through and then I find my way back to the center again because he needs to know that when I'm in the middle that's he's doing the right thing. Maintain. Keep doing what you're doing. Send him. Drive off. Step out of the center. And in this case, he's coming to me. So that's excellent. Wow.